Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can, um, in iDocio, customize the gradebook to make it work in a way that you want it to. Um, for example, for me, um, one of the things that I do, uh, or have been doing for the past year, is um, cr um, collecting um, RAG data uh, from my students at the end of every lesson. Uh, and that's helped me keep track of um, who understands things and, and who doesn't, and, and it helps me also plan my intervention um, in following lessons. So a really powerful thing to do um, and I'm going to show you how I've used iDocio um, in order to make this a nice simple task. Now, um, so in, in the context that I've got over here, um, I've got some um, training, um, I've got my training data um, gradebook. Uh, I'm going to create a column here and we're going to say that these players today, um, they've been training on um, headers. So um, so I've put in headers as my column and then the date is today so I'll stick that in um, and over here where it says cell editor um, at the moment I've got text with icons um, so I could just change this to icons um, and then click on save. So I can now go through and after our headers session um, our headers training session I can go through and double click um, on um, Alexis Sanchez over here and, and I can choose uh, whether to rate him as red, amber or green so we'll say he was green um, click OK and then um, Hector Bellerin um, was amber for example um, and I can just go through and I, and I can choose um, which icon I want to attach to to each of these um, I can also um, go into seating plan mode um, and I can do um, a similar thing here. So if I click on, um, click on column over here. I'm going to click on headers, um, and then again, um, if I now click on Kieran Gibbs, and um, I get this menu over here, and I can, I can say that he was green. Click OK, and 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 there you go. So I I can do a similar thing in that way there. But what I'm going to show you now though is how you can customize this to make it. Um, even more useful and even easier to collect data. So um, if I go back to Gradebook first of all, and I'm just going to delete um, all of the data that I've already put in. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to keep my headers column, um, but I'm now going to come out of this and I'm going to go into settings. And this is just a once only setup. Once I've set this up, I don't need to go into settings again. Um, I just need to set it up the once. Um, if I scroll down over here, and I'm going to go to where it says custom editor down here. So I'm going to click on custom editor um, and that's going to give me um, lots of different custom editor um, options um, that I can that I can create. So um, I think there's there's 15 different ones of these that you can make. So I'm going to make my um, rag and I'm going to call it rag123. So rag123 um, so what I usually do is at the end of a lesson I rag my students based on their understanding um, and then one, two, three on, on their effort and, and they, they, they do this themselves actually. Um, but although I'm calling this rag one, two, three, I'm only going to collect the understanding part of this. So I'm only going to collect the red, amber, green. So um, I'm now going to click on this um, first option over here so I can have up to five um, and my first is going to be um, green, my second is going to be amber, my third is going to be red um, and I'm also going to have a cross uh, for somebody who um, is absent. Yeah, so if somebody's not there then I can just put a cross in um, and then I'm going to click on done over here. Okay so that should have set that up now. If I go back to my um, class again and um, I'm now going to um, long press on headers and I'm going to edit that and where I had icons before over here I'm now going to change that to um, reg123 okay so reg123 is my custom menu that I've created um, and then I'll click on save so what this now means is um, 
if I now double click on this cell over here, rather than um, me having to um, go through and, and click on everybody separately, I can very quickly now um, just click on the um, you know what I think everybody's um, <coughs> performance was in that lesson. Um, sorry, in that session, and um, and I can collect all of that information um, very quickly. And I'm just going to click on finish over here because I'm going to show you how um, using the seating plan mode now. Um, makes this a whole lot easier so if I'm now in seating plan mode um, again if I click on column up here and um, I'll click on headers so in my seating plan mode now um, I've got that data visible to me there but now what I can do is I can just double click so if I thought um, per Metasaka um, had a particularly good um, session um, and, and did his headers really well um, if I double click on him um, it will turn green straight away if I double click uh, again and then it will turn amber and if I double click again it's red or double click again if he was absent um, and what it does mean is it means I can input all of this information really really quickly so within seconds um, I've just double clicked on all of those and, and I've collected all my data that I needed for that session I could then just click on this cross over here at the bottom um, and now if I go into um, my gradebook again um, I can see that all of that information has been collected okay so all of that information um, is is now there and that just takes seconds so the reason why this is useful to do is that you can do this at the end of every lesson because if you're in seating plan mode you can just have a look at your classroom, um, you know, collecting the information per table if you like, um, but it's, it, it takes seconds to do and you've got that information then ready for any intervention that you want to plan um, in the following lesson. Really, really powerful thing to do, made a lot easier using um, iDocio. Um, again, if you've got any questions, then um, please get in touch, but thanks for joining me.